Hi, I'm Mark Miklich, Technical Product Manager for Small Character Technologies here at Squid Inc. On uh, today's video, we're going to discuss replacing the buffer in our Jetstream CIJ printer. All right, some of you might be wondering what the buffer is or what it's for um, and where it's located. We'll look at where this is uh, positioned or located in the back of our printer in a little bit. Um, but first, to just discuss what this is for, uh, the buffer, uh, it really, its only purpose or main purpose is to get rid of any uh, pressure inconsistencies or vibrations coming off of the gear pump um, in our fluid. So this stabilizes our ink, makes sure we have nice, uh, stable fluid heading out to the print head. Okay, one thing to make clear right off the bat, it's extremely rare uh, that we would have any issues with the buffer. Um, very, very uncommon that these would cause any, any issues or that it would be replaced. But uh, still good for you guys to know where it's located, um, what a possible symptom might be if it was having an issue and how to replace this in your system. So um, again, the buffer's job is to keep our fluid stable heading out to the print head. So we're getting rid of any pressure inconsistencies coming from the gear pump pre-print head. Um, Really the main symptom or the only symptom we might have if our buffer was failing us is um, at the print head we would have to visually uh, look in our charge tunnel and um, basically visually see pressure fluctuations in our inkjet at the head. This is post pressure sensor in the hydraulic assembly. So this is after the manifold, after the pressure sensor. So the pressure sensor uh, wouldn't really necessarily tip us off if this was having an issue. It would be more of a visual cue up at the head. Um, so as far as what that would look like in the charge tunnel, um, we will have a separate video uh, with troubleshooting the print head looking at the charge tunnel. Uh, that also kind of ties into modulation. We'll cover all that in a separate video, but just to give you an idea of a symptom that this might cause. So um, we won't look at the so much as look at uh, looking at how to replace this in the system. Okay, to locate our buffer, we're going to go to the back of the printer um, and we will ultimately replace it just again to show you guys how to do that. So in that scenario, uh, we would power the system off. Um, again, the buffer is in line with our, our main uh, ink tube going out to the print head. It's under about 42 pounds of pressure. So um, we power the system off because if we're swapping this out, we don't want to run that uh, risk of someone walking up and hitting the jet key while we're working on the system. We'd be spraying ink everywhere. So we're gonna power the system off, spin it around and go into the back of the machine. Okay, so when we open up the back door of the printer, you'll see the buffer, the right hand corner, uh, very easy to locate, stands out, easy to access. So again, we've got our main ink line going out to the print head tied into the buffer. So you'll see our green striped line here uh, going into and out of the buffer. So out of the buffer, we go straight out to our, through our umbilical to the print head. Um, so again, I know I've already said this, but really its main job is to make sure the, the uh, fluid is perfectly stable, no pressure uh, variations or anything like that going out to the head. So. Um, Again, easy to get at, we're gonna take this out really quick. Uh, the buffer just sits on a plate, you can see here, there are just two screws, one on each side that hold that plate in place. So we're gonna back those out and get this out of here. Um, the screw on the left, you'll see it's actually slotted here, so we can just loosen this one up and completely remove the screw on the right and take the plate out. So we don't even have to completely remove this screw on the left-hand side. Okay, so we've got two Phillips head screws on the bottom of this plate here that holds the buffer to the plate. We're just gonna back those out and set the plate aside. Okay, so we've got our plate off. Now really all that's left are the two hydraulic lines here. It actually doesn't matter which side goes on which. Just make sure um, you do have the green striped line. So both sides should have a green stripe. Um, might be a little difficult to see here in the video, you can see the green on each side. Okay, um, so you'll see we've got a couple of collars here. You can just slide those up. 
that helps uh, kind of secure the tube onto the barb fittings that the tubing pops onto on the buffer. So all you would do now is disconnect each line. Um, you do want to be mindful of, you know, this is the main ink line out to the head. There will be some ink in here. Um, so when you disconnect these, just be ready for that. Have a lint-free cloth to catch some of that residual fluid. But uh, all we got to do is pop these off and, um, you know, we could trim these up a little bit and we could install a brand new buffer. Okay, so we're just kind of cleaning up the end of our tubing a little bit here. All right, and then we're gonna install it on our buffer. Okay, so you see that slides on fairly easily. And then we'll put that collar back on to help hold it in place. Okay, so we're gonna reinstall our plate. So we're putting the screws back in and then we're just gonna slide the plate back into its position here. All right, that wraps up our video uh, for replacing the buffer in our Jetstream CIJ printer. If you'd like to see more videos on the Jetstream or many of our other products, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also don't hesitate to head over to squidink.com for even more information on our other product lines. Thanks again for watching.